right, guys, we have Taylor the Killer B. Jenkins coming back onto the mic for our second women's fight of the night. This time we are women's MMA Sasha All Rockwood. Right. Moving on to your next fight of the night. Here we go. A 110 catch weight. Your first fighter out of the red corner, standing up a one inch tall with a record of one and one. Out of Bronson's MMA and fitness, please the welcome, Karma, the heartbreak kid. Hey. Gotta stay clean like Trident, uh, pull up the stick, I'm flying, uh, gotta stay by my Trident, uh, never ever ever gonna hide it, uh, even if I did can't find it, uh, gotta go touch like Midas, uh, gotta punch hard Mike Tyson, uh, come up with a flow, they bite it, uh, all these young hoes wanna buy it, uh, I just wanna fit my pipe in, uh, get a couple hits, go silent, uh, I'ma stay with that violence, uh, anybody really wanna try it, uh, see it go X, fly by it, uh, I'ma get loud, go rowdy, uh, I'ma go shout to shout, so I know she is ready to fight, Trying yeah. to say undefeated in your face, fighting out of TFTC Clay. I like her energy a little bit. Please welcome Sasha. That's my kind of energy. Right you know really for that reason, man, I'm so low grinding and so low shining. Oh my shit is dropping hits in that drama. I never mind. Man, I'm so low grinded and so low shining Going hard on my opponent, man, these niggas throw the you don't really me. know what you can do until you back up in the corner And this 105, 110 pound-ish division is becoming more and more popular in MMA Not made its way to the UFC yet but the atom weight uh, weight class is growing We have yes. Samantha Sefpro, atom weight behind us over here this is going to be a scrap. I can just tell. Absolutely. The intensity. You know, I mean, Sasha, like, last time she came out, she had kind of like this m longer mohawk thing. But yeah. you know when somebody shaves their head, especially a woman for a fight, that they're coming to throw down. Oh, yeah. Sasha with a big yeah, overhand a big right hand. there. It looks like Karma's trying to find her distance, kind of set up. She doesn't want to go in there. Probably not to blow her energy right away. She's got a great stance. Yeah, she does. Nice wide base. She's picking her shots moving, really trying to figure out her range. She's eating some good shots though from Sasha. Sasha appearing to be very strong in the clinch. And they are swinging for the fences. Just barely missing there is Karma Radford. Karma Radford staying very composed after that big shot too. I think she's really trying to figure out her distance, yeah, trying to get in there, move, get she back out. Lands a big right hook on Sasha, turns her head with it. Sasha Rockwood's footwork much improved since the last time we saw her here at Fight For It. Yeah, both fighters, I mean, that was a really hard front kick. Oh, yeah. Ooh, she Over takes here. a big straight yeah. there. Both of them still composed. They're still kind of in that They're feeling. eating those Ooh. hard shots like, like it's nothing. They're still kind of feeling each other out, but I feel like it's starting to get to the point where she's uh, where Radford's finding her range, like you were yeah, mentioning earlier. Yeah, picking her shots. She's really, you can tell that she's um, really trying to pick, pick wisely. Nice low calf kick there, gaining popularity even Overhand in the amateur ranks. Karma likes that um, overhand right. Yeah, if you throw a naked leg kick like that, exactly. you know, with nothing in front you. of it, you definitely are vulnerable to that strike, I would say. Haven't seen any um, grappling or wrestling yet, so. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Sasha seems content to really yeah. stand and trade. They are both, yeah, they're brawling it out. Now we're seeing a little bit more wall work as the Knees. round comes to an end. Here we go. Trying to go for some kind of outside trip there. Looks like Sasha's going for... She wants to wrestle, it looks like, yeah. She can't hold on to after, Radford. After you get a couple of nasty shots, you tend to go for the, you want to go to the ground. Do you uh, do a lot of clinch work or trying to escape oh, yeah. clinching and wrestling? Oh, yeah. Sweeps. I know you were saying that you do a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have any plans to transition into MMA like these? I've, d I've done MMA. I've had four MMA fights, so all yeah. Amateur? I've been all over the place. Yeah, amateur for King of the Cage. 
if it involves punching people, I am there <laughs> and about it. One of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest amateur promotions in in the southeast, if not you know the world, King of the Cage. And they are going. This has been full energy the whole round. Absolutely, I would say that Carmen Radford did a great job yeah. of establishing her game in that round and landed the bigger strikes. Yeah. Um, but Sasha showed that she had a much improved striking and footwork compared yeah, to her last did. outing. So. She did. That TFTC corner has uh has going to be giving her some hopefully some val invaluable advice because I think that's going to be the big difference. Uh, is I think people are going to underestimate her corner's advice just because they don't have Derek Brunson in their corner. Yeah. Uh, so they really have a chance to prove themselves with a good strategy here. If I was in Sasha's corner, I would definitely probably tell her to try to take it to the ground. Mm -hmm. um, she actually is doing a really good job standing and striking and going the distance with Karma, but it seems more like a little bit more so on Karma's side with the striking. So I would try to get her to the ground see what I could do there because I know exactly. Karma's a great um, kickboxer. It's one of those things where you've tested this realm. You see what kind of where you stand versus your opponent. Yeah. And then you're like, well, let me and try this changes. other world. You know, let's see how they are here. You know what to expect when you're going in the second round. And even for 110 pounds, these girls are not slender. They're in great shape. Yeah. Very strong. Sasha Rockwood had a lot of strength in that clinch. So hopefully if she is planning on taking this to ground, she'll be able to use that. Ooh, nice big shot from really Sasha. Really nice overhand. Right. Firing on the break from that kick. It's almost like they're both trying to see what what who's gonna make the first move and exactly. then and then they go in like dynamite. And sometimes when you've got two people that are willing to strike and they're this close to each other, there that's a lot of what's happening. Yeah. But these girls are absolutely willing to trade. They are going for it. Yeah, Sasha is, to me, looking like she's hunting for a knockout. Yeah, Sasha is fighting like someone who is down around, and I cannot blame her after that last one. But she's definitely doing a great job so far in this one. They're both moving fantastic. Uh, Karma keeps going for that yeah, uh, spinning really back fist, and it hasn't really landed yet. It hasn't been close. She's really dedicated to it, though. And that's, yeah, that's one of the ones that you don't really want to throw unless you know you're close. Plus, you know, uh, you can get you can get clipped, like, on the spin from a straight hit, and it can hit you, like, behind the ear or something. Oh, yeah. and just be a very bad time. That's one that leaves you open. She's going for it. She's adamant on getting that spinning back fist. The front kick, nice. that was a very nice deep kick. Very powerful front kick there from Carmen Radford. And those are the shots that don't look like they hurt that much, but actually <laughs> take a lot out of you. Yeah, we were talking about uh, that with Trevor in the kickboxing. It's like when you get punched in the head or you get like, you know, your face lit up oh, a lot, nice. you can tough guy or tough girl that out a lot. But you can't really tough, gr uh, body tough person shot. body oh, yeah. shots. That yeah, was a nice body kick. Very, right very Carmen. right below, snuck, uh, snuck in under the arm there. Yeah. Do you know if uh, Radford has any <gasps> kickboxing experience, or is she just a good MMA um, striker? I believe so. I've seen all of her MMA stuff, I, but I, I know hearing about her that she is a big kickboxer. So I, I'm, not, I'm curious to know if she's had kickboxing matches, but I do know her widely in MMA. Every, every, every martial artist kind of has like that sweet spot, whether it's striking, wrestling. It's always There's right. always one sweet spot. I think hers is kickboxing but Sasha is definitely oh she right hits her with yeah. a big right and stuns her Body oh another shot. one the, She's going in. the round is getting close to oh. being over Sasha's, Sasha's still not in. out Sasha's firing back trying to stay in this these women are gritty Sasha looks she could be having some problems with that nose there's the clacker 10 seconds is when they turn it up oh, oh she got the spinning back fist and it right landed across and the it chest. landed That'll knock the wind out of yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about how she had not landed one, and there she goes with a hard and if she spinning back fist. If she would have aimed it six inches north, she probably would have sent Sasha yeah, to the yeah. canvas for sure. And Sasha ate that like a champion, and she's still ready to go for round three. I would say that Miss Radford is up a clean two rounds, but we saw in the last fight that being up on rounds yeah. can sometimes not be the be all end all. Sasha Rockwood still exactly. has a chance in out. the sport. And 
you got many ways to come back in MMA. It's not over till it's over. So if you were in Sasha's corner, what would your advice be? Uh, I, I'm, my advice would be, like you said earlier, let's let's try to introduce some wrestling or some or some grappling into this equation. Uh, let's go for a low single. Let's dive on a foot, or you know, let's even if we don't have the cleanest double leg in the world, let's yeah, just see where we're it. at with it. You know, um, I feel like her effort has been valiant. These have exactly, not been yeah. dom she's not been dominated in the stand up, but it is it's been. Oh. Oh, finally, she gets Good the back. Here we, here we go. We were just talking about this. And it's funny how fast the tables can turn. And here. she's, she's, she's under got the neck. Sunk. Does she have the arm in? I can't really see. On the, oh, wait. Oh. She's trying to reestablish the this hooks. this is where Karma does not want to be. Now, it's, now there's no arm in. Now Rockwood is firmly sitting into the back here. Got it. That is it. That is it. It's Sasha Rockwood, our second comeback submission win of the night. This and time. that was a fight that you just thought was not going to go Sasha's way, the way that had been going. Deep and in the, the third, turned. Sasha Rockwood sinks it on the back, capitalizing on the spinning back fist that, that we saw. That was a huge win for That her. was the fifth spinning back fist of the night, and it was just one spinning back fist too many, unfortunately. Exactly. A uh, little too slow, a little too tired, maybe. From Miss Radford, she gets her back taken, and the submission win goes. But to both women, amazing fighters. That was an um, that was awesome, especially watching them in those exchanges, just to see the intensity and the heart and the drive. Like just very, had no quit in either of them. Very powerful women for one tens, especially yeah, yeah. the body kicks that Radford was landing. Yeah, when you hear them smack their body. Gonna give out the trophy. Your winner by a rear naked choke out of the blue corner, improving to 2 and oh, Sasha Rockwood. Fighting out of TFTC Clayton. And like we said earlier, before this fight started, that is a huge win for a 1-0 and amateur yes. female fighter. To face an opponent with that much experience from that kind of camp and to do that well. Uh, just an amazing performance all around from Sasha Rockwood. Anything is possible. You, you're not. I, like I said, it's not over till it's over. She never. And Sasha did not waver one time. Exactly. She never wavered. She, she never gave up. And she walks away with the win here tonight. And more points in that Grand Prix circuit for the Fight Four Championship. Yes, wow. Awesome. All I could. On with the victorious Sasha Rockwood. You're now up to uh, two and zero in your record. That was a pretty good fight, back and forth, and the sort of crazy finish there in the beginning of the third round. Just walk us through it there. Well, she was a, a hell of an opponent, super yeah. tough. She hit a lot harder than I'd expected. A little wild and crazy, so I thought the stuff I'd been working on might have put an end to that a little earlier in the fight, but I'm happy to get whatever I can get out there to win a fight, whatever opportunities there. So. I was going to say, and he finished there with the choke there. Yeah. Now, is, is that something you guys have been working on for a while? Uh, it's something I, I've been doing since I was 19, so I started in jiu-jitsu before I ever got into MMA. So, And I, and I love the jiu-jitsu, the chokes there, so that's that seemed like it was just fairly easy. She fell into it. It looked like he just hand fought her just a little bit there and just finally finished it up. Who do you want to thank for this fight? Uh, definitely my coaches, Carlos and uh, Daniel Triana and Marcus Davis and my teammates, uh, especially Zach and Matt, have been there the whole, the whole fight camp. So. Couldn't do it without a good team. Congratulations. Thank you.